Oh man, it's your boy uh, DJ Paul representing that mafia. Yeah. Hey, hey, y'all know what time it is. It's your boy Crunch your motherfucking black mister come by his motherfucking self. What up? This your great gangsta boo, the legendary Memphis Queen. Uh oh, my name Coop, rap name Coop's the Nika. Growing up on uh Eric B and Rakim and uh Public Enemy and even Southern guys, the Ghetto Boys, Luke Skywalker, MC Shadi, mm -hmm. you know, NWA, Too Short. All them uh, influenced me. That's who I wanted to be like. Well, I used to listen to a lot of old rappers like uh, Ron DMC, LL Cool J, you feel me? And when it first started, and I liked it, the dance, my, one of my oldest brothers, they did a lot of dancing. And they did uh, break dancing and shit like that. So I wanted to be a dancer, and it led me into the rapping. My first rap check knowing that I could get paid off doing music, you know, I'm just playing. I was just meeting a lot of people that inspire me, you know, such as the Brat. Um, you know, my first trip to New York, I partied with Jay-Z. It was destined. I, I really didn't have too many inspirations outside of myself and just like a lot of Memphis music. When I was little, I used to look at uh, the Grammys and see Michael Jackson and them all on the stage and, uh, and then uh, N.W.A. and uh, and I always wanted to be something brand new. I ain't never liked to do what other rappers do. So I ran across this uh, guy I went to school with, Paul Beauregard, and uh, we was in the same class, and uh, we joked a lot and played a lot. I went uh, to another state, a city came back, somebody said, hey, you know, he's doing music now, I want you to give him a call, but they came with the name, and I was there since we first started, and we just clicked, and uh, I could be myself. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never have to, I ain't never try to compete with what folks go on, I just did my part. MC Shade, he had a song called I Gotta Be Tough. And MC Shadi at that time, I was, this was in like 1986 or 87 maybe. And I heard that he was in like his 20s or something, but he sounded like a kid because he got a real life voice. So I wanted, I was like, if this little kid can do it, I can do it. I thought he was 12 because I was like 12. Myself, I like the LL Cool J a lot. You know what I'm saying? I love the LL Cool J a lot. So I need love, you know what I'm talking about? I'm bad, just how he used to come. So I used to say, like, I can express myself a little bit better if I do what he was doing. You know, not just naturally actually doing what LL Cool J done, because he's done a lot of things in his life. But, you know, with the rap, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, when Pop called us and told us that we sold 100,000 first week. I don't know, like just meeting a couple people, like being from Memphis, you don't get to do a lot of stuff. There's people still in Memphis right now have not left their neighborhood, so. Come around 1989, I went in the studio and uh, really made an a EP called The Serial Killers with me and Lord Infamous, and that's when uh, it got serious. I brought that out and I sold 2,000 copies of it just at my high school, and I was like, oh. I made some money, I'm like, oh, fuck, it's serious now. They liked it, my dad wanted to be a singer. He, he wanted me to be a singer, he didn't want me to be a rapper. He always said that rap music wasn't gonna last and all that, but yeah. This was a dream. Sometimes my auntie and them used to call me when they was drinking beer and eating skins. So they looked crude playing cards. He used to tell me to come out there and do Michael Jackson moves for them and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So I just always said, man, I want to be a superstar. I've been taking it serious since I was 18, when I first got a real check for, from it. I mean, they let me hang out with five dudes. I was the only girl in triple six. <laughs> Very supportive. Oh, everybody love they like, Coop, ain't in jail no more. I ain't taking matters to my own hands no more. I'm putting it on paper. You know, I know how to turn stuff off now. And I'm going to show the world, man, there's a Coop. I've been bumping, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of me behind the triple six movement. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm taking it more serious because everybody don't get a second chance and I'm glad to be around my friends I grew up with. Man, just staying uh, relevant, you know what I'm saying? I don't really look at it as a challenge. It's kind of easy to me, but uh, the whole adjustment of the new, uh, the whole social media thing was a, a shocker to me. It took me a while to get used to that. The Oscar, you feel me? The Oscar, us getting the Oscar and you know, doing our thing with the kind of music that we do. You feel what I'm saying? Or we do. Easy. NWA kind of music, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> no senses. Transforming into the new generation, being a, a old, older generation rapper, like I started out like in, in the 90s. So just kinda letting people know like, yo, don't forget type shit, you know what I mean? Just transitioning pretty much. But it's easy because things that we did in the, the 90s are what people doing right now. My temper is it's like crazy. I do shit that make breaking news and shit, which I ain't trying to promote myself off of it. But I was, at that time I was looking forward to the, I was doing it called survival of the group. 
You know, they say you put in work. I wanted to make our group name be feared. I took it serious, serious without getting paid. Now when I act a fool, I'm getting paid for it. And I got girls now. I'm a father, so you know what I'm saying? I'm doing something for them. And, and, I, and I want my city of Memphis uh, upcoming rappers and artists to, to, you know. And I'm glad. I'm, I'm not taking nothing for granted no more, you know. Man, just take care of my family, you know what I'm saying? Buy my mom a house and stuff like that, man. You know, taking care of family is first. Family's always, always first, you know. I live my life, I had fun, and been with a mean women and had a mean cars and mean house. So right now it's about living for the, the family. Well, you know, I do a lot of things, like help the neighborhood out, and I ain't talking like help the neighborhood out, and uh, like some folks say, I'm from the hood, so I help my hood out. It's just whoever, you know what I'm saying, whatever hood, whatever, you know what I'm saying, being able to give back to them, you feel what I'm saying? They might, they might need a check or something for something, you feel what I'm saying, and don't have it all. I'm, I'm going to always be there, you feel what I'm saying? Traveling. I travel like it to meet people. I used to, all, like what I'm doing now, have a little rock and roll uh, singing parts, of course, before I come in. But back then, I had to like give it to them slowly because it's like the music wasn't ready. But I did put it out here and there, my little singing rap. But now I just do it and make all the sounds. And where I'm like, back then I was like, if I do these sounds, they're going to be like, I don't like the sounds. Now ain't nobody saying it. And I'm just having fun with it. Now I'm open. I can be me. It's no stop coop. See, a lot of stuff that a lot of rappers doing now, I've been doing. They sing rap shit and they little harmonize and whine and shit. But uh, I'm doing it. It's me. You know, it's very easy. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm better when I'm not clothed in. And people laughing at the sounds and shit I make. They don't laugh no more. Us being the creators of crunk fight music. Crunk music, we, we molded the, how, the whole sound of, of, of hip hop right now. It's 2014. We did this in like 1990, 1991. And that, that sound still survives in hip hop. Anywhere you go, East Coast, West Coast, Dirty South, Midwest, you hear, a, you hear a piece of, of Three Six Mafia sound and everybody's music. I want to teach people how to be real and be a man of their word or a woman of their word because we don't have that anymore, you feel me? You can easily write a word down and somebody think you really does that and, and, and you don't. So I always tell a person to try to do something nice for somebody you don't even know so you can get that feeling instead of having the feeling of being able to fuck somebody all the time. I want everybody to know that I'm one strong, a really, really strong female, and it's not easy being in a male-dominated industry, and not just music industry. The world is ran by men, pretty much, in the forefront, but us women, we run it behind the scenes, so my legacy is letting them motherfucker know. It is what it is. Women, we rule the world. Pussy is power. Man, I just want to leave the Mafia 6 legacy because it ain't just all about me, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel good when we together doing music because I hear us as one like a, a music note, not just me separating my verse come in or boo or crunch. I just hear us as one, you know what I'm saying? I just be known for Mafia 6, man. You know what I'm saying? You think of them, you can think of me. That's it. I'm just doing my role, man. Mafia, man, for life, man. What nigga don't know, you know what I'm saying?